Hello and welcome my fellow Game of Thrones fans. You are now watching Heartwork Creations and in this episode I'm going to be recreating this Arya Stark makeup look from season 8 episode 5. I'm going to be starting by just getting my hair in place and I'm just going to add some texture with this dry shampoo by Suavecita. And I'm just going to clip my hair back kind of like how she had it and just pull some pieces out make it messy because she went through some shit in this episode so her hair was was a mess now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the base for the base i mixed a maybelline fit me foundation with some green paint from a ben nye color wheel and i just added a little hint because when i saw this scene i right away kind of noticed that green tint in her skin which makes sense because she she must have been dehydrated and tired and probably infected with stuff I don't know but yeah so she had like this green tint to her skin so I went ahead and added that to my base and just applied it all over my face then I'm gonna go in on my brows um, I'm going to use this Suavecita Dark Brown Eyebrow Pomade and I'm just going to really make my brows super thick and full, kind of like how hers are. So yeah. Here they are, nice and bushy and on fleek. Next, I'm going to start adding in the bags and bloodiness under her eyes. Um, in this scene, I saw that she had kind of a lot going on around her eyes. Like, they look pretty bloodshot and just tired, um, bruised. So I just went ahead and just added layers of colors. I started off with a little bit of a brighter red tone and just stippled on these two red colors from Ben Nye. And then I just went ahead and added some dark brown color from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. And this just deepened the color up some. So I'm just stippling it around. It doesn't need to look perfect. And I just kind of apply the color everywhere to give the face just some more detail make her look really tired and now I'm gonna add some blood drippings it looked like she had been laying on the ground for a while and the blood had kind of just dried on her face already so I just kind of mixed some of this Mario Badescu spray to the paint and gave it, gave it a more runny effect and I just kind of dragged it down my face, made it look like she had been crying and her eyes had been watering and the tears kind of just ran down her face and dried.
Then I mixed some Mold Life Blood with Mario Badescu spray and that also gave it a more runny effect and applied that around my eyes and then some right on the forehead. She had a lot of streaks of blood running down her face so I tried to achieve that same effect. And now I went ahead and added some thicker blood. This one gives it a more um, kind of coagulated effect, kind of scabby looking. And I added that right on my head because in the scene it looked like she had a really bad injury on the top of her head and it kind of just like dripped down her face and dried there. So that's what I'm trying to achieve here. I ended up adding some more dark brown paint of that cream paint and that gave it a thicker consistency and made it look scabby and coagulated as well. I noticed about three profound more prominent streaks on her face so I try to do that as well to my look. And I put some in my hair, just put it all over, applied some on my neck. And I just rubbed it all in my hairline too because again it's kind of like she got an injury on her head and it just dripped all the way down her face. Then I finished off the look with some of this Ben Nye Ash Powder, which was perfect because this is exactly what happened in the scene. You can tell she had been laying in ash for a while and she was just completely dusty and just full of like debris and stuff so I just went ahead and got crazy with it and put it all over and yes this was really fun to clean up. And then I went ahead and found this little styrofoam ball in my craft drawer and just kind of crumbled it up, put it all over, made it look like some ceilings and shit fell on my head. And then yeah, just made it messy, put it everywhere and there she is. So here is my recreation. I'll go ahead and play the scene at the end of this video so you can see kind of more or less what she looked like. And that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing this last episode this weekend. Such a bittersweet feeling, but it has been a great, great show. And if you haven't watched it, I encourage you to go watch it, even though it's almost over. Go watch it. Thank you so much again for watching, and I will see you next time.